Welcome to your audience students and scholars here I am Dr. Ramjad Ali in this video we will learn the Coggan model how current and future money affect the price level. Dear scholar, if the quantity of real money balances demanded depends on the cost of holding money, the price level depends on both the current money supply and the future money supply. Coggan model show more explicitly how this relationship works. To keep the math as simple as possible, posit a money demand function that is linear uh, in the natural logarithm of all the variable. The money demand function is written as mt minus pt is equal to gamma minus gamma into pt plus 1 minus pt where uh, mt is the log of quantity of money at time t and pt is the log of price level at time t and gamma is the parameter that governs the sensitivity of money demand uh, to the rate of inflation by the property of logarithms. Uh, MT minus PT is the log of real money balances and PT plus 1 minus PT is the inflation rate between period T and the period T plus 1. This equation states that if inflation goes up by 1 percent point, real money balances fall by gamma percent. The Coggan model has some of the following assumption first uh, by excluding the level of output uh, as a, a determinant of money demand it is implicitly assumed constant. Second assumption by including the rate of inflation rather than the nominal interest rate it is assumed that real interest rate is constant. Third, by including actual inflation rather than expected inflation, it is assumed uh, perfect foresight. All of these assumptions are, uh, are made to keep the analysis as simple as possible. So we have the first equation for the Coggan model that is uh, mt minus pt is equal to minus gamma into pt plus 1 minus pt. Okay, by solving equation 1 for expressing the price level as a function of current and future money, uh, to do this note the equation 1 can be written as Pt is equal to 1 over 1 plus gamma mt plus gamma over 1 plus gamma into Pt plus 1. This equation states that the current price the current price uh, is a weighted average of the current money supply and the next year price level. Okay, the next period price level will be determined the same way as uh, this period price level is determined like uh, uh, P t plus 1 is equal to 1 over 1 plus gamma into 1 uh, mt plus 1 uh, plus gamma over 1 plus gamma pt plus 2. Okay, now substitute equation 3 for uh, pt plus 1 uh, in equation 2 uh, to obtain uh, uh, pt is equal to 1 over 1 plus gamma mt plus 1 over 1 plus gamma whole square mt plus 1 plus gamma square over 1 plus gamma uh, whole square pt plus 2. Equation 4 states that current price level is a weighted average of current money supply, the next year money supply and the following year uh, price level as well. The price level in a period T plus 2 is determined uh, in, uh, uh, as in equation 2 can be written as P, uh, T plus 2 is equal to 1 over 1 plus gamma into MT plus 2 plus gamma over gamma 1 plus gamma PT plus 3. Now substitute equation uh, 5 into equation 4 to obtain uh, PT uh, is equal to 1 over 1 plus gamma MT plus 1 over 1 plus gamma whole square MT minus MT plus 1 plus gamma square over 1 plus uh, gamma whole 
पार्ट थ्री एम टी प्लस टू प्लस गैमा क्यूब और गैमा थ्री ओवर वन प्लस गैमा होल क्यूब पी टी प्लस थ्री ओके बाई नो यू सी दैटर्न वी कैन कंटिन्यू टू यूज इक्वेजन टू टू सब्सिट्यूट फॉर द फ्यूचर प्राइज लेवल if we do this uh, an infinite number of time we find that pt is equal to 1 over 1 plus uh, gamma uh, into mt plus gamma over 1 plus gamma mt plus 1 plus uh, gamma over 1 plus gamma whole square uh, mt plus 2 plus gamma 1 plus gamma uh, a uh, whole cube and mt plus c so here uh, dots indicate an infinite number of analog term according to equation uh, 87 the current price levels as a uh, weighted of the current money supply and all future money supplies okay note that uh, the importance of gamma the parameter governing the sensitivity of uh, real money balances to inflation the weights on the future money supplies decline dramatically at a rate gamma over 1 plus gamma if gamma is small then gamma over 1 plus gamma is small and the weights decline quickly in this case the current money supply is the primary determinant of price level indeed if gamma equals zero we obtain quantity theory of money the price level is proportional to the current money supply and the future money supplies do not matter at all okay if gamma is large then gamma over 1 plus gamma is close to 1 and the weights decline slowly in this case the future money supplies play a key role in determining today's price level finally let's relax the assumption of perfect foresight if the future is not known with certainty then we should write the uh, money demand function as uh, p uh, mt minus pt minus uh, gamma uh, into E P T plus one minus P T, where uh, P, uh, E P T is the expected price level, and equation it states that real money balances depends on expected inflation by following steps similar to those above. We can uh, get our new money uh, price level function that P T is equal to one over one plus gamma. mt plus gamma over 1 plus gamma uh, expected money uh, uh, the uh, money supply of next period um, and gamma over 1 plus gamma whole square expected money uh, supply of that next year and uh, uh, gamma over 1 plus gamma a uh, whole cube expected money supply of of another next year and so on equation 9 states that the price level depends on current money supply and expected future money supply some economists use this model to argue that credibility is important for uh, for ending hyperinflation because price level depends on both current and expected future money inflation depends on both current and expected future money growth therefore to end high inflation both money growth and expected money growth uh, must fall expectation in turn depend on credibility in the perception that the central bank is committed to a new more uh, stable policy here uh, another question arises that uh, that how can central bank achieve credibility in the in the midst of hyperinflation credibility is often achieved by removing underlying causes of hyperinflation the need for sand reach thus a credible fiscal reform is often necessary for a credible change in monetary policy this fiscal reform might take the form of reducing government spending and making the central bank more independent from the government 
so reduced spending decreases the need for central rate uh, while increased uh, uh, independence allow the central bank to resist government demands for central rate so this is all about the Kogan model how current and future money affect the price level of a country so see you with another video ciao